morning. I'm sorry, we're a few minutes late. We were just over at the White House here. School before military commissions. And, and will the United States act? Yes, my question is, I'm sorry, sir. If, if you don't come forward with photos and there is this growing suspicion, uh, does yesterday possibly produce more attacks and not less? Uh, well, two different things. Uh, first of all, we are going to make sure the Iraqi people believe this at the end of the day. And there are a lot of ways to do that. Uh, I think when they, well, I, there are a lot of ways to do that. But uh, I've heard speculation of the kind that says, well, in revenge for these attacks, there are going to be more attacks. Well, there's not an unlimited number of these criminals, and they're not getting more people coming over to their side, I can guarantee you. Press conference that the decision to proceed with the attack on the House on Mosul without letting up. This morning, I'd like to briefly outline for you some of what we've learned. It was difficult to imagine before the war that the criminal gang of sadists and gangsters who have run Iraq for 35 years would continue fighting. Fighting what has been sometimes called a guerrilla war. It's only a guerrilla war in certain similarity of tactics. But even at the tactical level, I believe this will go down as the first guerrilla tactic in history in which contract killings, killings for hire, going out and soliciting young men for $500 to take a shot at an American was the principal tactic employed. Four days later, people still dying, or that they'd be rotated out. I'm wondering what, what how you... Thank you very much, uh, Tammy, and, and thank you. I've said to the Iraqi people that we share their interest in making the transition to a sovereign Iraqi government as quickly as possible. The timing of that, the pacing event there, is the writing of the new constitution. So effectively, the timing of when we get to elections and therefore to a sovereign Iraqi government is in the hands of the Iraqi people. Once they have convened a constitutional conference, the question will be how long does it take them to write and get approved or ratified a, a constitution. My hope is that this can, be, can lead to elections uh, sometime next year, but it will be up to the Iraqi people how quickly they can write that constitution. An hour long, but I'm only allowed to speak for a half an hour, so I'm going to read every other page, and I'll let you. The question of the role of religion will be one of several rather uh, fundamental questions in the constitutional conference. Uh, Another one will be the uh, degree of federalism, which is uh, put into the Constitution. As I suggested, uh, we believe it's important for the Iraqi people to write this Constitution, not us. So I'm going to read every other page, and I'll let you uh, guys fill in the blanks. Uh, <coughs> folks, we just, uh, I'm uh, Duncan Hunter, uh, the chairman of the House Army. Mr. Secretary, has any decision been made about the pictures of the sons and releasing those, and when and where? There will be pictures released. I, uh, we haven't decided. Uh, soon? <laughs> What's soon? Today, tomorrow. Not today. We work. 